For decades, humans have been inquisitive about the truth of Martian lands. They have always been curious of whether there was any life on Mars at any point. Various missions took place to find traces of life, plantation, or oxygen, but more than 60% of these missions failed. Even though this planet was not as toxic as Earth's sister planet, Venus, but it definitely was not sustainable for humans due to its low oxygen content. Though this revelation did not stop humans from examining this planet as it is filled with mysteries and histories that NASA is longing to discover. To make those discoveries, NASA built a tiny but robust solar charge helicopter that became the first ever spacecraft to take controlled flight beyond Earth. The aircraft took its first flight to Mars on April 19, 2021, and the flight was delightfully successful. If you're wondering why NASA engineered this tiny little fellow, or why it is sent on Martian lands, or how this small helicopter works, then I suggest you watch the entire thing, because this video is all about ingenuity, the tiny master copter. Expected discoveries on Martian lands. Before we get into the intricate details of ingenuity, let's first talk you through the possibilities and potential of Ingenuity's mission to Mars. From the previous missions, scientists concluded that Mars was once a planet with an abundance of water. No signs of greenery have ever been found on the planet, but the rocky surface and terrains of Mars show traces of ancient water carvings like flowing streams and branching rivers. This means that this planet, which is extremely similar to Earth, was once able to sustain life. However, it is now draped in layers of carbon dioxide. And even though water does not exist on the surface of it, researchers have proved that there is abundant water locked in the icy caps of the planet. To continue this research further, Ingenuity can help NASA find traces of life on Martian lands. Moreover, it has been proved that the entire universe is filled with similar materials and minerals that are found on Earth. Mars, being similar to Earth, can be rich in various minerals and elements that Earth can benefit from. So another subject that scientists are curious about is what sort of chemical compounds, minerals, and reserves are present on the planet. These crafts can help NASA in extracting those minerals for further experimentation. It is also possible that elements that are hard to find on Earth can be found in profusion on Mars. Till now, space travel has only cleared misconceptions and has provided answers that human minds were always curious about. Another curiosity that took humans to Mars was the environment, temperature, and gravity of the planet. The initial exploration could only tell that the planet is half the size of the Earth and has a terribly cold temperature of minus 81 degrees. The exploration also suggested that the planet has gone through drastic changes, which is why it has turned cold, dusty, and dead-looking. Previous missions of Mars. Humankind has been wanting to explore the surface of Mars since the early 1960s. At first, the missions were to fly by the planet and capture images of the outer surface surrounding the orbits. Spacecrafts orbited Mars to take as much information as they could. It first happened in 1965, when Mariner 4 went by Mars and took close-up images of the planet to see how similar it is to Earth. Then, in 1971, another spacecraft entered the Martian orbit and spent eight months there. This craft was sent by the Soviet program, and the mission was to study the geology, atmosphere, and topography of the planet. After that, several missions failed as the crafts either lost contact or could not land on the surface of Mars. So far, only four agencies that are ISRO, ESA, NASA, and Roscosmos have been successful in putting their probes in Martian orbits. America's NASA has been the sole information provider, as it is the only country whose craft operated on the surface of Mars. The most amazing Martian travel happened in 1982. Viking 1 and 2 came back with Martian soil, which helped scientists in conducting experiments to find life. However, the results were questionable and inconclusive. Then, various other missions made shocking revelations regarding Mars quakes and dust storms that made humans learn a lot about the planet. In 2012, the Curiosity rover launched by NASA explored a dry lake named 
Gale Crater on Mars. The rover is still roaming on Mars, sending information regarding various rocks, sediment, and residues found on the dry lake. Now in 2020, NASA did another crazy experiment when it sent a Perseverance rover accompanied by his little friend, Ingenuity Copter, onto the Martian lands. The purpose of the Perseverance rover was to land on the surface of Yezero Crater, where its wheels could move freely, but that's not the sole reason why Perseverance landed on Yezero. Scientists believe that Yezero Crater is the place that was once flooded with water. It was a 45 kilometer wide plain that was the best place for rover and copter to start their Martian discoveries. Ingenuity helicopter challenges and working. How did NASA manage to create a helicopter on Earth that could fly even on Mars? This was the question that was on the mind of every individual interested in space discoveries. It indeed wasn't easy. Because NASA wanted to build a fast and durable chopper that could roam around the Martian surfaces in low temperature and pressure, could travel long distances, and has a robust system to send back information to NASA. Now, for a regular helicopter to fly, two factors play a key role. One is the amount of air present in the environment. And the other one is the weight that the chopper has to carry on its flight. The first constraint that NASA faced was the air of Mars. Martian air is much thinner than that of Earth. Earth's air is not only denser, but is a combination of heavy gases and vapors that help the choppers in their flight. But since Mars is smaller in comparison to Earth, the gravitational forces of the planet are not strong enough to keep the atmospheric gases on the planet. 96% of the atmosphere of Mars is filled with carbon dioxide, which itself is a light gas. To cope with this, scientists had to build a chopper weight that is extremely light-weighted and had wings that could spin really fast to overcome the atmospheric constraints. But the chopper still has to carry solar charging batteries, solar panels, blades, antennas, and avionics. After extensive research and experimentation, NASA built this Ingenuity chopper that weighed around 1.8 kilograms and had dimensions of 48 by 19 inches. The helicopter had a 350-watt lithium-ion battery, two cameras, inertial sensors, and a laser altimeter. The astonishing fact about this chopper was that its two rotors could spin at a speed of 2,700 RPM with a flight range of 704 meters. According to the scientists, the dual rotor speed was 10 times faster than what is required to fly on Earth. This was indeed a miraculous invention. So in 2019, this tiny drone copter named Ingenuity took its first design test. The helicopter took its trial flight in a simulated environment similar to Mars. A vacuum chamber with low pressure was filled with carbon dioxide and the gravity was reduced to 38% of that of Earth. The conditions were pretty similar to Mars, and in that zone, Ingenuity took its first flight test. But no matter how accurate the testing of Ingenuity was, the real test was to successfully deal with the real Martian environment. The impregnated Perseverance left Earth on the 30th of July, 2020, and on the 18th of February, 2021. NASA's engineers took a sigh of relief when the craft successfully landed on Mars. For some time, Perseverance protected Ingenuity from the harsh weather of Mars, and the craft was deployed on the land on April 3, 2020. Till now, everything went according to the plan. But the next step was the first solo flight of Ingenuity on Martian lands. This wonder happened on April 19, 2021, when the chopper took its first flight that lasted for 39 seconds and went 10 feet above the ground. This was indeed a moment of joy for NASA, as on that day, this tiny heli opened doors for many other experiments in NASA. NASA even went through dark nights when it lost contact with the tiny fellow due to low battery as the winters arrived on Mars and the craft could not get the required amount of solar energy. But the contact was stabilized within 24 hours. The first picture that this helicopter took was of its own shadow while landing. However, the most remarkable photo of Ingenuity is the photo of the parachute that took the crafts to Martian lands. Less than a year ago, we didn't even know if powered, controlled flight of an aircraft at Mars was possible. Team NASA. Since Perseverance has found signs of water and magma, both the crafts still have a lot more to explore. While the Perseverance rover moves more like a car, the Ingenuity copter can take small flights here and there. 
to see where Perseverance could go to extract data. Recently, on the Yaziro Crater, Rover has found signs of organic compounds that are mostly found on the river deltas on Earth. According to Thomas Zerbuchen, the Associate Administrator of NASA, the delta at Yaziro Crater promises to be a veritable geologic feast and one of the best locations on Mars to look for signs of past microscopic life. So it's safe to say that the Ingenuity helicopter has opened more ways for NASA and other space organizations to make discoveries of what is beyond Earth. Don't forget to tell us what you think of Ingenuity and what you think can be found on the surface of Mars. Let us know in the comments section below. Also, if you found this video interesting, do press the like button and tap the subscribe button to stay notified of our new video releases. See you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned.